If you are traveling this Memorial Day weekend, you might want to sit down for this next story. Or actually, maybe not, because this is a story about germs on public seats. When we heard BART commuter train seats in the San Francisco area had tested positive for all sorts of bacteria, we wanted to know if other public seats were just as bad. So we sent our consumer correspondent, Elizabeth Leamy, in to do the dirty work. Our journey begins with a single swab on the seat of my car in Washington, D.C. Here goes. And ends 3,000 miles away in San Francisco. Along the route, we swab every seat we come in contact with. The seats in a car, taxi, airport, airplane, rental car, restaurant, hotel lobby, hotel room, movie theater, park bench, and yes, a toilet seat. Then finally, BART itself. Do you actually avoid sitting on the seats? I do. The fabric covers are really filthy. I think the seats would be pretty dirty. So would the 12 seats on our journey be the dirty dozen? We sent our samples here to NYU's microbiology department. There were so many organisms on these seats, I would say that they were never cleaned or rarely clean. That is something to be reckoned with. Nearly one-third of the seats contained traces of E. coli. More than half showed indications of fecal matter. But BART wasn't one of them. The agency now sanitizes and swaps out seats overnight. And as spokesman Linton Johnson points out, it's people who bring bacteria onto the trains. We've conducted this entire interview on the seats. Right. Yeah, touching them, talking about them. Did you just put bacteria them. on my seats? <laughs> wait, did you just put bacteria on my hands? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think you put your hand on there first. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Which came first? I the don't bacteria know. or the egg? Other not so bad seats? My car. You. Also, the hotel and the toilet seat. We thought for sure we'd find bad bacteria after we were asked to leave the Chinatown restaurant where we had lunch. We just finished eating in this restaurant and also swapping the seats to check for bacteria. And then the health department came and shut it down. Here's the notice. Vermin, yes, but no significant bacteria. Now for the doozies. The rental car, of course. Our rental car, with only 714 miles on it, but thousands of E. coli colonies. Even more E. coli on this bench in Union Square. There was staff on a movie theater seat, and my airplane seat was bad, but the airport lounge was worse. The worst. It had so many organisms, we call this innumerable. So many that you really can't it count. sort of grew together. Plate. So the next time somebody tells you to please have a seat, keep your hands to yourself. For Good Morning America, Elizabeth Leamy, ABC News. And to see the rest of our results and get tips for warding off germs, head to our website, abcnews.com.